Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Monsignor Paul Conroy, the Sacred Heart Parish Church, Bridgeton, Glasgow, and Vicar General of the Archdiocese of Glasgow. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Members of the Scottish Parliament, I'm grateful for this opportunity to share this reflection with you today. Last Friday, we observed the World Day of Prayer with a service prepared by the women of Cuba and led by women all over the world. On Sunday, we celebrated Mothering Sunday, honouring and giving thanks for our mothers, living and dead. And today, we mark International Women's Day and are being encouraged to make the pledge for parity. Those who devote themselves to public service share with women and men of goodwill a desire to make a difference and make things better. Together we share a vision and a dream of a better world, of a safer, more prosperous and kinder future. The electorate place their trust in you. The Gospels give a description of how Jesus took three of his closest disciples into his trust at the top of Mount Tabor, where he was transfigured in their presence and shone with his glory. In this moment, Jesus showed them their future, and through them, he was showing us our future too. We have all of us, women and men together, been made for glory, and glory is our future. The glory of God is not, however, only something that awaits us in the future. It becomes visible every time we make a pledge for parity, helping the poor, assisting the disabled, providing for refugees, saving children from exploitation and abuse, sheltering the homeless, promoting equality of opportunity. In so many ways, God's plans for us are our plans for ourselves. God's hope for us is our hope for ourselves. As our elected representatives, you have a unique responsibility and opportunity to help us all to let the glory of God shine out in the society we want to build. There is surely no greater ambition than enabling women and men to be more fully alive. This is a divine ambition, an aim we share not only among ourselves, but with God, who for this reason raised Jesus Christ from the dead. I conclude with some words of Pope Francis, who is full of hope for the glorious and transfigured future of humanity, encouraging us to discover our glory in the mercy God shows to us and in the mercy we show to each other. May we become the voice of every man and woman and repeat confidently without end, be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. <laughs> 